is up guys it's Raul TV team are for you all we're back again and what we're doing this time around is we've got our 2009 Ford Fiesta and we're doing the rear trailing ambush tasty tasty job this tasty meaning not eating tasty okay meaning hard job so my man Gary he's gonna help me out here GM plastering check them out on Google Facebook GM plastering for all your plastering needs GM plastering and what it is this one if you're doing it at home attempting it at home uh one word don't okay because um, uh, not for the faint-hearted this one right you need a special tool to knock them in take them out and everything uh, if you don't have the tool it's virtually impossible to do so anyway without further ado let's go let's do it let's go right guys first things first i put the car on the ramp as you can see the cars on the ramp if you can't if you can't take the wheel off do not attempt this uh, job because the first thing the basics about mechanics is uh, taking the wheel off if you can't take the wheel off do not attempt this job because it uh, trust me it's a hard job right so what we're going to do now is wd-40 on the shocker bolt on the trailing arm which is, this is the trailing arm in here let me turn the light on so you can see it better trailing arm that's the bush that's the culprit that's the thing that we're changing so basically that needs to come down so in order to get that down nice and safe i took the abs sensor wire off so it, when we when it does come down it doesn't rip the wire off and what we're going to do is we're going to we do one side at a time basically take the shocker bolt off take two bolts there one two three three bolts holding that bracket take that off and we need to take the middle one off that holds the bush in as well and uh, hopefully that should come down and we can knock it out okay guys what we're going to do is we're going to take this bolt off make it out this one this one and this one i've slackened them loosened them and we're going to take this one off here i think they're all 15 millis 15 milli bolt head so socket ratchet extension or get a strong arm and just crack them off first don't take them off just yet slacken everything then take them off you don't want to go taking these off then you can't take that off and then you're swinging on it and everything so make sure you slacken everything first then you go taking it off right come on let's go okay guys as you can see i've took that off the bolt is half off i mean three quarters of the way off it's ready to come off the other ones are slack so what we're going to do is now just to be on the safe side put the hoist on it the gearbox lift it well obviously you can use whatever you want you can use the jack and block if you've got a jack and block well i find this easier so basically we just need to support that bottom line is we need to support that and we need something where you can gradually send it down send it back up again so if you get a jack you can trolley jack you can use a trolley jack with a block or you can get one of these right so I'm gonna, what we we'll do now is take that bolt off and gradually just lower the rear axle right i'm also taking the shocker bolt off shocker off obviously still got it supported take the shocker off spring off the whole thing should come straight down now all right let's uh well i need two hands so i'm gonna have to attempt it i'm gonna slacken that basically so it l lowers down and i'm gonna hold the spring with one hand so it doesn't go flying so yep yeah, let's do that right guys i've dropped it it's come down to about there okay that's more than enough because basically we changed the bush there with the tool so the bracket this bracket we slacken the bolts remember these 15 mils one two and three over here yeah we need to take them off and uh, hopefully that will be out of the way and then we can get to that bush this is the culprit here this one here sorry about the hands i haven't got no gloves because the lockdown and everything social distancing and the coronavirus and all that rubbish what, what it is nobody has got any gloves right so see i'm gonna see if i've got some because you don't want to see my dirty hands do you in the video yeah come on let's go and there we have it guys that is the trailing arm bush right the rear axle bush or the trailing arm bush whatever you want to call it there we go guys bush is off you can see it's absolutely dead come off the bonding there rubber bonding the thing is um normally i batter them out and everything okay but with that tool absolutely fantastic took me about five minutes not even five minutes, about two minutes to take that bush out happy days Right, well, I'm on the other side, well, I'm gonna, when I'm gonna do the other side, I'm gonna film it because I could, I'm gonna get my Gary, my man Gary here to film it so you guys can see the way it comes off. Dead easy with that tool. I know that tool's gonna cost about, I would say, what, about two, three hundred quid, but it's well worth it. 
possibly can get a cheap one eBay or something like that but yeah so the bush ex extractor tool that's what we need and now yeah that's it let's go right guys as you can see there we've got the tool on one side and a homemade device on the other side basically a brake pad if you can get a metal tin plate I mean a, a heavy duty tin, tin plate like a steel that will be even better uh, but like we, what we've done is we put a brake pad drill through it and tool on that side that's dragging it in and happy days let's go let's go all the way Okay guys, there we go, the bush is back on, happy days, we're going to fit everything in reverse order and then we're going to do the other side, yeah? Let's go, home stretch, let's go. Alright guys, this side is done, done, dusted, everything's on, we've got the three bolts on, I'm going to run through it now, three bolts on, the main bolt that goes through the bush, that's on, the uh, the shock absorber, that's back on, and yeah, all we're going to do now, ABS water sensor's back on, put the wheel back on, happy days, I'm going to do the other side, so yeah, anyway guys, like, share and subscribe to my channel, like I mentioned, this job, not for the faint hearted, if you've got the tool and everything, it's okay, it's not that hard, but you can't do it on the floor, you need to do it on the ramp. Greets to my face, it's been working hard. Yeah, so anyway, like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys soon.